That's right, but that is Let's Play Warrior World. Haha! <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to Let's Play Warrior World. Let's start a new file and let's get on with the story right away. Long ago, there was an evil black jewel that fed on the wishes of people, turning their desires into power. This dark jewel gave birth to many evil spirits who then tormented the good creatures of the world. Then, just when it seemed like the evil spirits would overrun the land, the spreadlings of the sacred forest ensnared the black jewel and hid it away deep within their ancient ruins. But over time, these events were all forgotten, and one day a greedy treasure hunter stole the jewel from the ruins. Oh, free at last! I'm chock full of power! I think I'll turn out of this greed, saps, jewels, and evil spirits! <laughs> Warriors Castle! <laughs> well, that's a tremendous castle, and that's a tremendous earthquake. Yep. And this is just how we start. By falling down into the world. Let's check the world out while I explain the controls. With R, you go like this. You go whoosh. Dish. Wahoo! Ah, whatever you want. You can also punch with B, and if you uh, le let it uh, le leave it press, you go like this. With A, of course, you jump, and you can combo, jump an R to this, and if you press the L button, Warrior will do this. Okay, that's that. So now, um, apparently, there's this treasure chest over here. We want to get that open. Uh, those things we will unlock later on, and I will get into later on, but for right now, that is the thing. Now let's get into the first world of Warrior World. Of course. First level, we're gonna have these outside. To-do list. Whip the boss! Grab red diamonds! Get the heart fragment! Nap gold statues! Get my stuff back! Fight all the treasures! Ha ha ha! I'm a Wario! Okay, yep. I can also talk like Wario if... That is an accurate impression of Wario. I don't know, leave your opinion down below. So excitement central, Greenhorn Forest, that's the first level. Okie dokie, so gonna get a little bit of our senses over here. Explore the world a little bit. And while coming down here, we're gonna hear something. And right away, trigger a little cutscene. Okay, this is automatic. Wario! Hi! I've been waiting for you! I'm one of the spreadlings of the forest! I have really bad news that evil black jewel just always sucking up all of the negative grief energy swirling around in your castle and terrible things are starting to happen! Honest! If you want to survive, press the A button to blah blah. And yes, there will be monsters, in case that you didn't actually see that correctly. Yes, there will be monsters. Okay, I will not be reading through all of the Spratlings messages because they're mostly tutorials and tips. And I've gone through this game quite a few times. It's actually a big part of my childhood. Collect these to get hot fragments. <laughs> That's as much logic as Wario can take. So, uh, this move from before, it's actually used uh, to get coins sucked up into you. Oh god, you're not getting me, mister. So, yeah, that's the way you get coins. They made it easy for you to miss coins, but they also made it easy to drag coins into you. Okay, getting that. Um, let me get some coins here, and let me, uh, let me get another move. If you grab an enemy by pressing B when you're near it, um, and then press and then start swirling your control stick around, you will activate a super move called uh, Grab? I don't know. Collect treasures to activate games for transfer to your Game Boy Advance. <laughs> uh, if you don't know, this game was released around the same time WarioWare. Um, so, this game uh, 
If you collected all the treasures inside of one level, you unlocked mini games for the Game Boy games. Uh, that's pretty much how it works, I think. I don't know if it worked with uh, Warrior War specifically, but that's the way that it worked. Um, you transferred games to your Game Boy Advance. So now let me see if there's anything down here. Yep. There's another. Oh, that's one of these as well. More coins to me. I saw Game Grumps playing this game, and my god, were they missing a lot of stuff. But if, well, they had not played the game. If you don't play the, if you have not played the game before and you don't read the manuals nor the tutorials, you're gonna miss a lot of stuff because you have to put uh, all of the moves to good use in here. Oh, there you go. Dish. I always thought that that thing that when he goes dish, I was uh, that he was about to say this shit. Well, nope, apparently not. And sprinkling. So if you want to read what they say, uh, you can actually read that, and you can pause the video. So, yep. For this area, you only need three diamonds, but we do need diamonds. So we're gonna go this way. One, two, one. Those blue platforms over there, oh, you need these to meet the bosses. There you go. And these platforms over here, as you can see, fall over when fall, fall down whenever you stop the step on them, and those are little puzzle. Uh, areas that you have to go through in order to complete them. Uh, garlic. Don't you love garlic? Delicious! Garlic restores health! Yep, garlic is like Wario's um, mushroom. Garlic for Wario is like Mario's mushroom. So let me get, get rid of some of these. I already screwed up for the upper ones though, but it doesn't really matter. And... Is there anything else in here? Um, let me see if I can get on top of this. Ah, it doesn't matter. Let me go inside of this puzzle thing. Ah! Okay, got up once, got up once. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah, dang it. I will be trying to complete all the statues. Well, actually, not trying. I will be completing all of the statues, and I will be getting all of the diamonds in-game and all of the spreadlings so that I can get the best ending possible, as well as all of the health upgrades. And so yeah, and all of the Game Boy games. So I will be getting a hundred percent through the game. A hundred. Yep, another spreadling over here. Why are you using the B button correctly? Blah blah. And just as he says so, we get some monster that we can use. Yep. Uh, later on there will be gates that will actually require a monster for you to open, like that, you will have to do that. Okay, this is a little kind of game that I like. It's like uh, you have to kind of guess, or not guess, you have to kind of uh, arrange these so that you can actually climb on top. Now, let's just turn only one, two on that. And the other one, let's let it be intact. Like this. And this will give us garlic. Oh my god, no. Uh, well. Garlic in this game restores your health. In Wario Land, garlic actually makes you grow. There you go. And yet, Wario World different from Wario Land. Now let's let's make a move on a little bit back because we got more coins and we got some other stuff back here. I think. Uh, yeah, right over here, Bunny. And Bunny are way up here. We got yet another one of these little puzzles. Uh, let me climb up on top of this, and we already got the Wario statue again. Let me see, you can pause the menu to see what you have gotten and what you have uh, left behind. So up to this point, we've left a couple of treasures behind. So yeah, you can see that the thing is right over here. The diamond, crystal, whatever. That is the one that I actually had over there skipped. And these ones, these little blocks, always have a way of being destroyed. They always have an orientation of that cross mark, like a womp in Mario. But they always have it. They may, you may not be able to see it because it's in 3D, like a 3D environment. And I think that's one of, that was one of Nintendo's goals with this game, like to showcase the 3D capabilities of the Nintendo GameCube. Because you got Luigi's Mansion, which, uh, you know, the Lantern did some of the work for the 3D environments and stuff. And you got uh, Super Mario Sunshine, which was released, I think, two years before this, but um, 
I think this makes good use of the platforming without any things like, uh, you would say cheating devices such as blood. I just got distracted over there with the coins, I should not have stayed that long in there. You see these things, uh, don't mind them, they're pretty much, uh, they're kind of harmless, I mean, they can damage you, but just, uh, only if you are actually dumb enough to stay to their sides. Okay, give me some coins, give me some coins, let go, and give me more coins. Of course, Wario is greedy, so coins are gonna be important. And hello there, guys, give me your coins, haha. <laughs> So, if you come all this way, you will be able to do that, and that's everything you want to do in this side. Then we're going back the other way, and there is another way! Oh my god, okay, I fell. Oh, well, it actually serves a purpose that I fell, because we retrieved the treasure right over here. And we keep going up. We keep going, we keep going. And there will be one other piece of the statue. And there will be some of these monsters. No, you're not harming me. Not in the first level, at the very least. That'll be kind of embarrassing, actually. Dish! And... Is there... Yes, there you are. Because you, a lot of the time, you will have to backtrack in order for you to, uh, to get to those. So, hello there. Every time... Uh, something I forgot to mention. Every time you purchase ga garlic from those guys, uh, the price will go up, and that also goes by level, I think. I don't know if it's only by uh, purchase, or if it goes by every time you clear a level, the price increases because you're ge you're getting more money as you go. I don't know, I'm not sure about it, but I would recommend that you save up some of that money and some of that cash for them. But anyways, we got that, and we are inside of one and... Oh god, this one. Now this introduces these little sticky gloves. These little sticky gloves are gonna be your saviors and the bane of your existence at some point. These make for really interesting puzzles actually. But for now they're just here to introduce themselves as the sticky gloves that let you climb up on top of things. Then we will leave and there's actually more stuff to Wario World. Um, some other mechanics, interesting mechanics at that, that work around the overworld and around this the levels. Okay, let me carry this, and if you press B while holding something in your hands, you actually are able to throw it. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Be careful when those go that way, because that means trouble, basically. That spells trouble. Now give me this guy's money, and please let me throw the thing. There you go. Throw the thing at the W, because you can't. You can also throw one of Wario's heads, but eh. Then come down. And kill these guys by doing that, and now we can climb. Oh god, I thought I was not gonna be not gonna make it. Anyways, get one more treasure. Whenever you complete one of these, uh, you will get a giant sign in front of you. Careful Wario, all of the cliffs and deep chasms around here are really, really dangerous. If you fall, you'll land in Unithorn's lair. Scary! You'll lose coins as long as you're in Unithorn's blah blah blah. Yep, I read that because that is the actual thing that I was talking about, that there, was, there were more things to the overworld and stuff. Because that is important. Now, we get introduced to switches. Give me coins, give me coins, give me coins, and give me more coins. There you go. Give me crystal, and let's leave. So, what the Spratling was saying, let me show that right away. You see two bridges? Oh god, I fell down. First hand. Whenever you come here, you are in Unithorn Slayer, and you got bombs over here. What you have to do, actually, is avoid... Wait, what? Um, excuse me. I heard something, right? I heard something making me say... Oh, there you go. Why did not... Why didn't I see that? So, anyways, that is what happens. Then you got the spreadling over here. And hey, there's the goal. Bye bye balloons, return you to the beginning of the level. But, as you can see on the start screen, we're still missing quite a few treasures and some parts of the statue. And, uh, yep. And a, a few crystals. So what we are going to do... We're gonna come this way, we're gonna come this way, this, this, destroy this, get more money, and we just unlocked another crystal over here. 
Uh, so what you have to figure out is a way for you to actually go up. Oh my god. Uh, to go up into the place where that is, uh, where the crystal is. But of course that's not the way. This is the way. And I have to move it a little bit. There you go. And oh my god, I was I was about to say I barely missed it. I I mean I barely got it. So oh my god, I can't see. Well, doesn't matter. Let's look at my TV screen. Good thing, good thing. Oh my god, thing. You, Mr. Monster, come over here. Come with me, please. I want to kill the everyone's with you. Have a rotten day. Haha, <laughs> I love those phrases, I love Wario as a character. Like, alone, it's really a good character. A lot of people dislike Wario as a character just because he's a freaking jackass to, all, uh, to other people, like an asshole. But I really like Wario because, well, alone, it's a really, it's a great character. I, I really love it, and when it has character development, it's just totally different. Oh my god, oh my god, stay away from me, stay away from me. My god. Okay, here we are, once again. Get that, and as I told you, you get one of those signs whenever you get one of the major collectibles in the stage completed. So we got that, and now follow me through here in order for you to get one of the treasures and meet one of the new enemies in this area. Those things are actually pretty ruthless. Those will start firing stuff at you if you don't kill them. And they will not stop. Oh my god, I just did it. I just came back into Unihorn's lair. This is not it. This is not it. Come on. Not this. There you go. If you fall down into the water, you'll start losing coins. If they bite you, you will start losing coins. And I'm still missing one treasure. I don't know where it is, however. Um, let me go back with the Bye Bye Balloon. And I will tell you where it is in due time because I just forgot where it is. So this is how it works. You climb onto it and you are back at the beginning. So I'll see you guys when I find that little treasure thing that I missed. Okay, I think I made it to the place. Yes, yes. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot this one. It's like at the very beginning. And there you go, there's a treasure chest. This is the location just after the sprite link. My god, I can't believe. Okay, I'll see you guys back at the end. Oh my god. But there. We are now at the very end once again. Now let me finish this off. By doing that. My god, we're off to a great start if that is the first episode. Okay, and we got the boss right over here. Hello there, Mr. Boss. Wario number one! Hello there, yes. You're looking after me? You're looking for me? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Yep, that's what happens, you gotta move away, move away. And then you come again. Get the coins, and grab him. And then you go all crash. Give him more coins. And give me some coins. And then he's gonna go turbo. Oh my god. Yep, and then you hit him again. And you can actually do something like this. Kaboom. He will return and there will be one coin. Oh my god, waiting for you. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. That is terrifying. But if you can't handle it, you will be mighty fine. There you go. Get some coins out of it. And with that, I think we got the boss defeated. Yep. Spits out a lot of coins. I did get half heart of damage, however. And with that... Yep, clear, and we got some stuff. 
All of those are because of the damage, and we get a lot of stuff from that. And with that, let us see the glorious return of Wario to the surface of the world. We got one statue completed, and we got half a heart. Which is very nice. And then we got another place to go for, but I will be covering that next episode. So thank you guys so very much for watching this first episode of Wario... Of Wario World. Excuse me for that. Don't forget to leave your opinion on this Let's Play, um, on this video specifically, by a comment. Rate the video to help me know how I'm doing and to let me know if you liked it or not and to subscribe to my channel if you really like the video and i will see you guys next time for more let's play warrior world see you guys then